Thank you for rolling with BJ in the kitchen today. Tonight we're going to do chicken dressing and chicken gravy. I have eight chicken thighs already in the pot, washed and clean and ready to go. So we're just going to season them up. And this is how we're going to make our broth for the chicken gravy and the dressing. So you just want to season your chicken thighs. I'm using chicken thighs. You can use chicken quarters or chicken legs, whatever you choose. I choose the chicken thighs because it's just one bone because I'm going to debone this chicken so it make it easier. And I'm using our regular seasonings, accent salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and Lori season salt. Now, you just want to add, fill the pot of, with water and tilt the pot over to the side. You just want the water to run on the side, not directly on top of the chicken. You're gonna let the chicken boil for about two hours. And if the water boiled down too much, you can always add more water to it. You wanna get the chicken done, but you also wanna have your broth. I'm gonna fill this pot as high as I can get it because I'm not using the pot that I wanna use. So it's filled with water with the seasoning and the chicken. And now I'm going to just add some new cold margarine into the pot. And like I said, we're going to cook this with the top off. And we're gonna let it cook for about two hours, maybe two hours and 20 minutes. But you wanna cook it with the lid off. Okay, that's all ready to go on the stove. You wanna put it on medium high fire. Now, I'm going to come back after I get all my ingredients together for the um, cornbread that we're going to make from scratch to do our dressing. I'll be right back. I'm back. We're going to use vegetable oil to grease the, the pan that we're going to cook the cornbread in. So what I'm going to do is put... Less than a half a cap, I'm um, less than a cap full of oil in the pan. Actually, I'm gonna put a little more, and then I'm gonna stick this in the oven while we. You just wanna pour that off in there. And I'm going to stick this in the oven so this oil can get hot. Okay, let's see how we're going to measure this. So, we're going to use yellow cornmeal. And I don't... So, yeah, you should probably tell them you don't measure. Yeah, I don't measure. And I'm using this bowl just to give you guys an idea. So, otherwise, I'd just be pouring it off in the bowl. So, we're going to use about this much cornmeal. We may come back and revisit. Okay, and so... We're going to use, I forgot something, I'll be right back. Okay, so 
We're doing flower this time. And that's one. Two and a half. I'm going to drop that off in there. Now we're going to go to the sugar. So I have this large size spoon. Gonna do one, two, three. I think I want to do, let's do three and a half. I'm not done with my ingredients, daughter. It just looks like a lot to not measure. Okay, so I'm gonna put. Uh -huh. One teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna use three eggs. I have a question that somebody might ask. What might that be? How do you know this is going to turn out right if you don't measure? You won't know it's good until it's cooked, and then you can't add or take away nothing. So, how do you know? going to make sure it's right. But how, that's not answering my question. But how what, you know? what I do is after my cornbread come out the oven, I usually t taste it. So. So if I, it don't taste right. Then I know what to add into the dressing to get this right. Okay. That was the answer. <laughs> so. Forgot my salt. One teaspoon and I said tablespoon last time if I said tablespoon forgive me I am using a teaspoon so all the measurements that you've seen me put on this spoon it's a teaspoon you can always rewind this and look at it again too in case you missed something okay I'm gonna put my three eggs in. Now if I was making more dressing, which I usually do, I would have put like six eggs in here, but I'm trying to do a small pan of dressing today. So I'm using half of what I would normally use to make a big pan. Okay, and this is buttermilk. This is the last ingredient. You just want to mix all your ingredients together. Feeling how empty that is, about how much do you think you put in there? I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. You're probably going to use almost all of this. It's about right here right now. Where it say buttermilk. Now I'm gonna get my pan out the oven. You wanna make sure the oil is nice and hot in your pan.
So I want to use this to mix with for the moment. Because I want all my ingredients mixed together real good. So you just want to take this whisk. Mix it all together. So how about that? That's what we doing. Okay, so this is 32 ounces, one quart of buttermilk. Now I'm gonna finish mixing this off camera. I wanna show you what I'm doing to my oil right quick. I need a, um, I need to get up. Excuse me. Oh. Okay, so I have my pan. This is not the type of pan I, I usually use. So you want to get the oil all over the bottom and the sides. And how I do the sides. I just take a little piece of paper towel. Key. Stop it. Okay, I take a piece of paper towel and I just run it over the sides just to make sure it's smooth all over. Now we take the cornmeal. And you just want to sprinkle it all over the bottom. And sling it all across the sides. And the new school people may not do it this way, but I know if an old school person watching, I know you remember when your mama used to do this. And I wonder why. I have no idea, but this is how it was done. This is how BJ do it. Okay, so now that I've got it all down in there, I'm gonna shake it around and I'm gonna put it back in the oven for about maybe two minutes. Now, while that's in there, I'm gonna be mixing this. And I'm gonna mix this off camera because, I mean, we all know how to mix cornbread, right? So I'll be back once I take the pan out. We're gonna pour it in and we're gonna cook this dressing. Now I brown my, my cornmeal. So now it's time for us to put the cornbread into the pan. The oven is on 365. So we're just gonna put this in the oven and let it cook. And we got the chicken going for the broth and to put the chicken into the dressing. So once this come out, I'll, sh I'll come back and show you what it look like. And then we're just gonna put it in a bowl and start breaking it up while we're waiting on the broth to, uh, to finish cooking with the chicken. Actually, I like I said, I don't really use a small pan like this. I usually use a cast iron skillet 
to do my cornbread, but since I'm not doing a lot, I didn't want to use the cast iron skillet because then we would have had enough dressing to feed about 25 people, and we're not trying to do that today. So we're gonna just stick this in the oven. And I'll be back when it get done. Okay, our cornbread is done. It's cooled off. Oh, I'm sorry. And our chicken is done. So I'm gonna debone this chicken. I'm gonna make my gravy and I'm gonna make my dress, mix my dressing. And we're gonna do this like round the clock, so to speak. Okay, so I have my celery. I already got it chopped up. So, what I like to do is, I don't want to um, saute it and all like that. You don't have to do all that. So, what I'm going to do is just get all my celery and my onions. So, I have my white onion and my celery. What I'm going to do is get a bowl I'm going to pour them off in here And what I do is I take some of the ch chicken broth. Uh oh. I take some of the chicken broth over here. I just cut it off. So I just pour the broth over the celery and the onion and just let it sit. So we're going to just let that sit there. We're going to debone this chicken and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the chicken in the dressing and some in the gravy. So I'll be back after I debone this chicken. I'm gonna debone the chicken and I'm gonna um, transfer the cornbread over into this bowl as well as the cornbread stuffing, one bag of this. And I'll be back. So I got my cornbread in the bowl. I'm just gonna chop it up. I'm gonna put my gloves on so I could get it mixed up really, really good. But for right now, I'm just using this spatula. And I'm gonna, um, like I said, I'm gonna use some of this. Use some of this breadcrumbs put off in here. I think it's still gonna be a lot of dressing. I can cook a small portion and save my life, my goodness gracious. Okay. So I'm gonna take a little juice, broth actually, from over here. So I can soften up the brick.
Okay, it, that it just makes it make it easier to work with. So I'm gonna continue to chop all this up off camera, and I'll be back and show you what it looked like. Okay, the chicken that I deboned that was off in this bowl, I added water to it and poured it back off into the pot because I'm gonna need some more broth. So I put a little butter in there, a little margarine actually. And so I'm just gonna season it up. So I like the homemade broth that came from my chicken. I don't want the broth that come in the can. So instead of uh, using the, the kind in the can, I just make my own put that chicken back over in the pot and I left some of the broth that was already cooked in the pot added water and margarine and now I'm adding seasoning and I will let it come to a boil and in the meantime I'm gonna be over here um, wait I'm gonna be over here still um, breaking up the, the cornbread so now once I get the cornbread broke up the way I want it, I'm just gonna pour all of this broth over into the cornbread. See the chicken is just shredded. So this is gonna be the last thing that I add into it before I put it in the oven. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, you see I got my glove on. And I got my dressing pretty much, my cornbread pretty much ma mashed up the way I want it. So now we're just going to add some ground sage. And we're going to add some poultry seasoning. Okay, and then we're gonna continue to mix up some more. So, in a little while, I'm gonna add some of the um, onion and celery. But I need some more ground sage in here. And my broth over there, it should be ready to come over here pretty soon as well. Okay, and you see I'm not measuring anything, so therefore you put how much you think you need and then eventually you need to taste it to see if it's to your liking. And I always tell you, less is best. Put less than what you think. And that way, if you need some more, you can go back and add more rather than put too much. And then you got a problem. It's fixable, but it's better to just not put too much. Okay. Okay, so I think I got this pretty much mixed up the way I want it. Now, I kept a bowl of chicken out for my gravy. And I'm going to use two eggs with the gravy as well. So, what I'm going to do right now... I'm gonna take some of the um, some of the celery and onions, put over in here, and I'm gonna save some for my gravy as well. And you can just put however much you feel you want to put in there. There's no particular amount. I happen to like celery and onion in my 
dressing so I got a generous amount in here okay so now I'm gonna go over here and get some more broth And pour off in here and then we're gonna mix it up some more and then I'm gonna put it in a pan and I'll be back to show you what it looked like and if you want you could taste yours before you put it in the pan now I have prima mushroom soup right here I'm gonna put about two or three tablespoons off in here once I get my broth in here so I'll be back Okay, so I've already mixed up my pot of chicken. This is the last part of it. So all I did was continue to put poultry seasoning and ground sage. And I put the three tablespoons of cream of mushroom in here my celery and onion, and the chicken in the broth. That's it. Now that I got all this mixed up, I'm gonna put it in my roaster, put the lid on it, and let it cook for about an hour before even checking on it. And then we're gonna get this gravy going. Okay, so we're just going to take this and pour it off in here. And you know, when I have too much, I just give me something and put the rest in the freezer for another day. And look like I'm going to have some for another day. Okay, so we're going to close this up. Into the oven it go for one hour. And set the timer. And I'll see you, well, no. After I put this in a container and prepare it for the freezer, we're gonna start um, working on this gravy. So let me get rid of this, put this away, and I'll be right back. We're getting ready to do the gravy. So what I'm gonna do, cut some slices of margarine in, into the pan. Once this melt up, I'm gonna add some flour and brown it. And then we're gonna start adding the celery and onion, the chicken and two, the two chopped eggs. Well, they diced, the two diced eggs I have. And we're gonna add some seasoning. And that's how we're gonna make this gravy. So, <clears throat> I'll be back after the butter get hot and we're ready to sprinkle our flour in here. Now, if you watch a couple of my videos, you, you'll know that I use this little thing to put my flour in so when I sprinkle it won't go, go out in clumps. So that's what this is, it's just flour. Okay, so we almost ready to start Browning our flour. And you want to keep stirring so nothing will burn. We may need to add a little more margarine. A 
Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna let this heat up, and then we'll put come back and put the flour in. Okay, now that it's hot, the margarine. I'm gonna just sprinkle in some flour. And I'm gonna do this and I'm just gonna keep sprinkling as much as I wanna put in there. And I'm gonna, after it brown, then I'm gonna add seasoning and the chicken. But you wanna keep stirring so it won't clump up. You gotta be on your game with this. Cause it will burn fast it will clump up on you so you want to keep stirring and make sure you have something that's non-stick so it won't stick to the spoon so now this flour is what helps thicken up the gravy and it and Doing this, browning it, it helps the color. So if you leave it like this, you're gonna have a light color gravy. If you let it get darker, then you'll have a darker color gravy. And I want like a pretty brown gravy. And it basically depending on what you making your gravy for. So, because I'm making it for my dressing, I want it darker, you know, so for different meals, you can make your gravy lighter or darker or however you want to. My little gadget don't want to work right. Okay, now you see how it's thickening up? Okay, so now it's getting thick. I'm going to get my celery and onions and pour off in here, but I want it to be a little darker. Just keep stirring and make sure you don't burn it. Okay, let me get my celery and onions. Okay, now that you added that. So now you want to keep stirring this until your um, celery and onion gets soft. You don't want crunchy celery in your and onion in your gravy. So I'm going to put this on medium high. Now. To thicken your gravy, you can always add more flour. But right now, I'm just going to start adding my seasoning. And then I'm going to put my chicken in here. And make sure you keep stirring. Okay, 
I'm going to add the chicken. Okay, I'm going to just stir and mix all this together. I'm going to put my egg in last. So you want to just keep stirring this, make sure it don't stick to the pan. I'm going to add a little water just so my celery and onion can start cooking. Just a little water. And actually, I'm going to hold off on putting my cream of mushroom in. I want to put that last as well. Okay, so I'm going to add a little more water. I'm going to cut the fire up. And I'll put the lid on for a little while, maybe about 10 minutes. But I'm going to check on it and make sure it's not sticking. Okay, so throughout the 10 minutes, like every 3 minutes, come over and check on it and stir it. Make sure everything is mixing well. And if you need to add a little more water, add a little water. It won't hurt. Okay, so I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay, so I've been stirring and checking, and everything looks to be pretty good. So I'm going to add some parsley flakes. This is optional. Parsley flakes are optional in your gravy, and also the celery, the onion. If you don't like celery, don't put the celery in. And that goes for your dressing as well. Um, so now... I'm going to uh, put a little more water, and I already added a little more seasoning in there. So I'm going to put a little more water. And then I'm going to add my egg and my cream of mushroom soup. And then we're going to just cover it up and let it uh, simmer. Okay, we just want to stir that in. Stir this, stir your cream of mushroom soup in. You could use cream of uh, celery or you could use cream of chicken. You don't necessarily have to use cream of mushroom. That's just my favorite. But you could use any one of them. So you want to just stir this in until it dissolve. And if you if you feel like you need more gravy, just add more water and more seasoning. And it'll work out. And if you have some extra broth, you can put the extra broth in there too. That'll help. Okay, so I'm going to finish putting this water in here. So it was about a cup and a half of water altogether I think I used. 
So let's get the egg. So I diced up two eggs, two boiled eggs. And you just stir that in. And you can put this on medium low or medium or even low. It depends on how often you want to check it. And just let it simmer. So this gravy is done, ladies and gentlemen. We just got to let it simmer, and that's about it. So I'm going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes because I like all my seasonings and all my ingredients to cook together, come together. So I'm going to cut the fire down low. I'm going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes because we're still waiting on that dressing in the oven, and I'll see you back in about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been one hour. So we need to give it a stir. So you just want to go around the edges and stir it. Make sure it's not sticking. And then put it back in here. So I'll come back and check it in another hour. And our gravy is already ready. So we're just waiting on the dressing. So, we'll meet again in an hour. Okay. So, it's coming along. What I want to do now is leave the lid off. And, uh, I'm going to leave the lid off and let it cook for a while, and I'll be back. So we're going to let it cook with the lid off for maybe 40 minutes. Okay, and then we'll be back. Okay, so it's been in the oven for about 40 minutes with no lid. So now we're just going to take it out. Okay, so we're done. Okay, so this is our chicken and dressing. Well, chicken dressing and chicken gravy.
So the name for these are The dressing will be BJ Old Fashioned Chicken Dressing. And for the gravy, BJ's Uptown Chicken Gravy. Okay, thanks for joining me. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Tell a friend. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. And thanks for rolling with BJ in the kitchen. We'll see you on the next time.